So I've just ordered this Robert's clock radio. And let's just come in and let's have a look. So here's what's in the box. So you've got the box here. This is actually a CR9971 clock radio um, by Roberts. It's quite a nice box, as you can see. And I ordered this from the Roberts website itself. Let's open it and have a look. The, the antenna inside the box with the instructions. Let's get them out there is. And we have this, this the warranty thing that comes with these products. Yeah, nothing exciting. But yeah, you've got the instructions for the CR9971, which is a an M medium wave FM dual alarm clock radio and funnily enough I can actually read those instructions because a lot of products nowadays you can't read the instructions because the writing is too small and here is the radio itself the clock radio itself so you've got a, a UK plug the antenna which is down here and it is actually a, a beautiful clock radio and let's have a look you've got the different buttons on the top alarm mode alarm days time view date sleep on off up and down i will now switch it on and see what it's like i'm now going to plug the clock radio in let's go plug it in and let's see what happens for the first time oh look Time's gone a bit crazy. My question is, is that the time? Let me check my phone. So on my phone it says 11.10. That's not far off, 11.08. I didn't know it did that. I didn't know it self-adjusted the time. I, I will change it a little bit to 11.10. Uh, it, I think it's the wrong time, but it's close. And... Let's have a look at the instructions. So, like I said earlier, you can actually read these instructions, which is good. Uh, a lot of products nowadays, you can't see the writing because it's too small. And inside. So, what's in the box? Uh, I think we've got everything that was in the box. Clock radio, quick start guide and warranty details, which, which are those over here. And then it says, plug in and set the time. Place your clock radio on flat surface. Plug in the power cord. After a few seconds, the time, day and date will set automatically. Which is what it's done. It's, it's set the time automatically, although it's not 100%. If I click the date button, it's saying 2312. And that is the correct date as well. 2312, December the 23rd. And it does have an option to set the time manually if you want to. And also set the time, sorry, the year manually as well. And the date manually, which I'm not going to do. I'll, I'll leave it for, for a bit. Although it's saying 11 and 9, so it's off by three minutes. And I don't like to be behind on my clock. I need it to be exactly the right time or slightly um, ahead of the right time. So I don't get late for things. And then it's got instructions on how to set the alarm, snooze button, and how to listen to the radio, and so on. So, let's have a little play about with it and see what it does. So, I'm going to press sleep. So, it's got the sleep option here. And on the side, uh, it's got medium over FM. There's a volume button. And also that you can tune it as well. Let's put the volume up a little bit so we can hear it. And let's work out how to turn on the radio. 
if I, if I can work it out without looking at the instructions. But I think it does need setting a little bit. Uh, just bear with me while I read the instructions and work out how to turn on the radio. Um, these buttons don't appear to be doing anything, but I will work it out. Just bear with me. Okay, so I was doing the right thing. I'm not sure why it took a while to kick in, but to get the radio on, you press the on-off button here. So you press the on-off button and the light down at the bottom <coughs> will turn on. I don't know if you can see that there's a light, a red light there. Lovely. Um, question number five the then. Um, now I am. Uh, the days of me asking for football boots for Christmas are well and truly over. So I'm still rolling down a bit. I'm absolutely savage at the five o'clock breakfast. Can we tune it here um, using this? The only issue I've got with this is that it is quite sharp. Um, so it just, just feel quite sharp for the finger when you turn it. So you just tune it using that. Let's see if we can find a decent station. So this is FM at the moment. And you've got the antenna, or the aerial, whatever you want to call it here, which helps with FM reception. And I don't really have great reception, as you can see. Um, there you go. And now I'm just going to turn the radio off. And you can feel the sound of the buttons. So it's a, it's okay. Uh, I've had worse sounding buttons um, in the past. Um, it's not too bad. Um, it does feel like a good quality product, uh, this Roberts radio. I'm just going to set the alarm now. So you've got two alarm buttons here. Alarm one and alarm two. So um, set the alarm, you press the, let's go for alarm one. And then you press the up or down button until you get the desired time. So let's change that to 11. Uh, let's have a look. Can you actually change the hours or is it just the minutes? Um, it looks like it is just um, the minutes. So you have to go through all the minutes by the sounds of things. So I'll press it down and change that to 11 something so we can see what the alarm sounds like. So let's go up to 11, 20. Uh, we'll get there in the end. Yeah, it's a bit of a faff to go through all the hours as well. Uh, I would have preferred a separate button allowing you to set the hours separately to the minutes. It just means it's quicker to do it. So 11.20 and the alarm should go off in one minute. Let's just make sure. Uh, this looks like it is it is AM and that's AM as well. So you've got the, the two buttons, um, well, the, the light on the side indicating, this this light here, indicating whether it's AM or PM. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's look, look, so look at the alarm mode first, so just to make sure the alarm is on. So that is set to, I can't even read that actually. I think that's set to radio. So at 11.20 the radio should come on. And you've got the option of off, radio and buzzer. So we'll try the radio first, 11.20, and the radio hasn't come on. Excellent. So something's gone wrong somewhere. And the volume's up, but I can't hear it. Uh, let's investigate. So I've set the alarm for 11.26, and you can see that there. That button, that illuminated button here, is not PM, as I thought before. That's actually indicating that the alarm is on. So at 11.26, the alarm should go on. And you can hear that. So the radio's come on at 11.26. I can now either snooze this or switch it off. I'll switch it off. And let's set the alarm to, this time I'll set it to 11.27. And by clicking the mode button, um, I'll, I'll indicate to set it on. Well, this is to switch it off. So you can see that it's no longer illuminated here. And I'll press it again. And that is the buzzer mode, that's the radio mode. Let's stick it on the buzzer mode this time and see what happens. So at 11.27, the alarm should go off in buzzer mode. And let's listen to what the buzzer sounds like. So just give it a few seconds, we're almost there. Um, this far, um, it's not a bad clock radio. And 
if you if you're in the market for clock radio roberts is a is a definitely a good brand the m27 that's the buzzer so you can hear the buzzer i'll be quiet for a bit and i will now click snooze so the buzzer is now in snooze or the alarms in snooze and you, can, you see that a flashing um, indicating that it will go off again and i'm just reading the instructions the alarm will be silenced for nine minutes and you can repeat the sequence during the 60 minute alarm period and to switch it off i'll try and switch the snooze off now yeah that's has, that has switched it off but the alarm is still on as it's indicated there and to switch the alarm off i'll just go back to clicking the alarm button and the mode button and put that on off and the alarm indicator is no longer on so there you have it my roberts cr9971 clock radio um it feels good to the touch it is a good quality radio although it was a bit of a faff to set it up initially and the other issue i have is that the time on there is not 100 percent correct it's saying 11 28 whereas my clock shows 11 30 so we're a little bit out and I will have to set that manually. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe, like and share. If you want any further videos, let me know. Thank you.